All right, we need to go over how to draw things from the side. We're going to start with a can. Now, if you were to draw a can looking straight on top of it, it looks like just a circle. But if you're looking at it from the side, which is usually how we see a can, you need to turn that circle into an oval. And there, we draw a cylinder like that. That's a side view of a can, where that circle has now become an oval. The same is true for a water lily. First, make a V and then you would draw a circle around it and that would be how a water lily would look if you were a bird looking on top of the lake or the pond. However, we're sitting next to the water so we need to draw more of an oval. So draw a curved V and then wrap an oval around the back of that. Let me show you again. So that's the si water side view of a water lily. Show you again here, a little curved V there, two curved lines, and then wrap an oval around it, and that's going to look more like you're sitting next to the water, rather than the water lilies just kind of floating in space. Okay, so now that we know how to draw, we're going to go ahead and start drawing. We're going to use colored pencils to do this. Make sure that you use regular colored pencils and not one that says watercolor on it. If it says watercolor pencil on it, get rid of it because that won't work. And then start drawing in the plant life. And I'm just drawing in some reeds. I'm using two different colors for some nice shading. You can also use yellow and blue to shade in too because yellow and blue make green. And then I'm making my little curved V's and wrapping an oval around it. And I'm going to make several water lilies that way. And then I'll color them in and I'm do several different kinds of colors. And you can also shade and blend with the color pencils. And then here I think I'm going to add just a little flower. You can make a flower there. It, the flowers can be just about any color. I'm just using some little up and down lines and uh, shading in some yellow and orange to do that. And now I'm ready to paint in my watercolors. All right, we're going to be using liquid watercolors. So the watercolors are already mixed up um, in the water for you. So you don't have to add um, water to get them. The first thing you're going to do is we're going to do a wet on wet technique to get a real watery look to our water. So just brush on water. You can't see the water, so you just kind of have to keep track of where you're going. And then you're going to add the watercolors. Now you're going to want to, you can see how that just blends in, how that just smears. You're going to want to use blue, but if you're really looking at the pond, you're going to see that the pond isn't just blue. It's not like an ocean. It's pretty shallow and a little bit murky as pond water want to be. So um, you're going to also want to add in some greens and blend in some greens with that and then you're also going to want to blend in a little bit of brown. Now you need to be careful with the brown because see here with the brown it can be a little bit too uh, vibrant. So mix in some water to lighten that and then you can mix in the brown and make it look like a nice pond like water and just blend that all in together until you get a nice pond water look and then you're all done and you have a beautiful Monet garden.